Once, a man named Baharudin Yusuf Habibi told his son Ilham that he dreamt to unite Indonesia, a country with 17,000 islands, with airplanes built in Indonesia. He was inspired by one of Indonesia's founding father, Sukarno, who also believed that airplanes and ships are important for the country. This is one of the reasons why President Sukarno sent young Indonesian abroad to learn airplane manufacturing and shipbuilding. In 1954, Habibi, or also known as BJ Habibi, was sent to RWTH Aachen, Germany to study mechanical engineering on aircraft design and construction. He was very passionate about airplanes and graduated summa cum laude with the ability to manufacture airplanes. After going back to Indonesia, he led his team to build airplanes that was developed by Indonesians. It was the original N250, a regional airplane. Unfortunately, in 1996, the Asia financial crisis forced Indonesian government to shut down the industry. BJ Habibi's son, Ilham Habibi, also loves and is passionate about airplanes. As a technological entrepreneur, he revived his father's dream years later by designing a new regional airplane called R-80. It was a new generation regional aircraft powered by two turboprop engines. It could carry 80 passengers comfortably, produces low emission, makes less noise, and is environmental friendly. R-80 is ideal for short and medium range of flight in a country like Indonesia and other countries with similar geographical condition. Ilham Habibi and his father BJ Habibi proved that technology is not just for the sake of technology itself, but to bring many benefits to the people. Just like the 29 Asia and African leaders who held a conference 60 years ago, the tigers and lions of Asia Africa struggle to bring goodness to all their people. They are still roaring until now, 60 years later. We in Indonesia are now in the process of designing and building a regional airplane called the R-80, which is a turboprop airplane that you can see here, with 80 passengers and two engine turboprop engines. This airplane is meant to connect and unite all Indonesians from city to city, from province to province, from island to island. Uh, my dream is that uh, this kind of technology will be used everywhere in the world to connect people, to basically bring people together and to uh, make, move forward the economies and countries that use this kind of airplane. So in this regard, uh, airplane technology, I believe, is something very important to understand. And I'm very proud that we in Indonesia can design and build this kind of airplane just by ourselves.